Martha from Peach Software. Today I just want to go over alternates. Uh, it can get a little confusing, but I had a customer this morning who needed some explanation. So we've got two methods. We've got alternate suppliers and we have alternate products. So just to describe those two uh, methods, alternate suppliers is where you may have one product and you've got many suppliers, so it's like a generic product such as cable ties, PVC tape, or some sorts of fasteners. So you've got many suppliers, one product. When you purchase the product, it may come in different packaging, uh, it may have a different barcode, it may have a different part number. And when you purchase it, you may be purchasing it from various different suppliers. So when you send the purchase order off to the supplier, you want that purchase order to have their part number and the pricing that you've got from that supplier. So that's called alternate suppliers and Peach caters for that beautifully. But then you have alternate products and this is where you may have let's say three products which serve a similar purpose. So you can sell them for the same purpose uh, but they're stocked, purchased and sold as three different part numbers. You may do this because they've got three different brands or they're th they've got different pricing, one's a generic product, one's a performance product, but they all serve the same purpose. So when you have alternate products, it means when you bring up one of those products in the point of sale or the invoicing or customer order screen, you want to see the other two products as well. So you can offer them as an alternate to your customers. So in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how you set up either alternate supplies or alternate products. Uh, so in the product control screen, I've got part A, and then uh, I've got B, C, D, so you can see the primary part numbers up there, part A through to part E. In each of those products in the F7 area, so there's a supply area there, it opens and closes. Uh, for each of the part numbers there, you've got a primary part which gets created automatically. Uh, so this is actually an alternate because this part number has got a space in it so you want to also be able to look it up by uh, typing in the part number without the space so that will happen for spaces, dots and dashes mm -hmm. happens automatically, the system takes care of that. But under part D I've got C, B, A, E as alternates and if I go back to part C I've got E, D, B, A as alternates. Now they could be alternate suppliers or alternate products. If they were just merely alternate suppliers, I wouldn't have to have those as part numbers in my system. They're merely part numbers that I know this part number as and I can order it as that or I can sell it as that. Uh, however, if it's alternate supply, sorry, alternate products, uh, then you need to have each of the products in the system. So part C, part E is a product, part D is a product, part B, and I've crossed them over. So whenever you look up part C, you're going to see the alternates to part C. Let's have a look what that looks like. So what we'll do is we'll type in part A into the search screen. This is a custom order screen. So part A, enter. And you can see here that I've my primary search it shows my part A. That's what I'm looking for. But it also shows that I've got four alternates. And there's the alternates there, B, C, D, or E. It'll tell me how many I've got in stock. It'll tell me the price. It'll tell me the description. Uh, as you know, I can move all these columns about. I can make them wider or skinnier and put them in different areas here and save that view. So it makes it easy for your staff to identify, first of all, that there's an alternate and then to click on that and see what that is. Now to move across these tabs without using the mouse, you can hold down your control or the alt key and you can just move to the right or left with the arrow key and you can see uh, all those different tabs there. So hopefully that clears that up for you. It is a little bit of a complicated area, uh, but it does make it easy for you. Um, so hope that helps and if you have any questions in regards to that, please call Peach Support and remember you can actually import the alternate information into Peach from an Excel spreadsheet. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.